Hello everyone, this is Fahim. Today we are going to learn very basic thing of Tcenter. If you want to create any simple graphical user interface, that means GUI based application in Python, then Tcenter is a very common standard GUI toolkit. All right. So by using Tcenter, you can create a window, you can add button, you can uh, add drop down box you can add text box you can add various functionalities and you can use tcenter to create uh, many kind of projects so basically we use tcenter to create short gui based projects and it is very difficult to create projects in tcenter if you don't know how those actually work so in this video i am going to create a very simple application not application a very simple window uh, and by doing that we can learn how we can use python to create this type of window and obviously after this video i am going to start showing you how you can add more functions more widgets more buttons add functionalities and so on and later we might create several videos where we can create many kinds of amazing project before proceeding further you have to ensure that you have installed python on your system and how you can ensure that you have successfully installed python in your system you can simply open a terminal whether it is in visual studio code or you can simply open the terminal from your operating system as well and you can simply search for python dash dash version if you are using a linux operating system or mac os operating system then you should try python 3 dash dash version if it gives a version which is greater than python 3.9 then you are good to go now at the time you are watching this video it is highly likely that you are using a latest version of python which might be higher than my version that is completely okay don't worry about that all right so yeah we have successfully installed python now for this thing i can simply create a file named main.py and here we are going to work on our code all right so first of all we need to import tcenter because if we want to use a predefined module or if we want to use a module or package or class that is already defined by others we have to import that so that it can understand that i am using a specific thing from other area or other place all right so as i am going to use tcenter i have to import that so import tcenter that's it now if i keep it as it is whenever i want to use tcenter i have to call it using the full name tcenter but i can prevent that i can tell python hey python i am using tcenter but i want to call it let's say tk so after this whenever i will type tk it would understand that by tk i am indicating tcenter itself therefore I don't necessarily write down the whole tcenter word every time I need this. All right. So this tk works as an alias of this tcenter module. All right. And this tcenter module provides classes and methods that we can use to create our GUI elements. All right. And I can also import the font submodule of tcenter if i do that then i can deal with custom fonts but we normally don't use that explicitly however as this is a kind of introductory video so i can simply show you that so import tcenter dot font because this font module is residing within this tcenter module all right so in that way if we call tcenter as module then font becomes the sub module of tcenter cool right so import tcenter font obviously i don't want to call this whole thing whenever i need them so i can simply create an alias so let me call it something like tk font so whenever i call tk font it gets that i am calling tcenter dot font the sub module of tcenter all right and then i can directly write down the code here but 
the good practice is I can simply create a class for it and within that class I can specify which thing I actually want. If you do that then you can add various functionalities based on that class. But obviously there are a lot of other ways to do so but for this video I am going to go with this class thing. So I am going to name it class app. You can name it whichever you want for now. So in this class I want to have a function. So in this app class, I'm going to use a constructor. All right. So the constructor would be like this div dash dash. I mean, underscore, uh, sorry, underscore, underscore init, underscore, underscore bracket self comma root like this. So this constructor of the app class initializes a new instances of the class root. So this constructor of this app class initializes a new instances of the class each time. All right. And root is the main window of the application and it is typically an instance of this TK. So inside this constructor, first of all, I can give it a title. So I can simply comment it so that we can understand it later what this code actually does. So setting the title. So I can give the title of this root by calling root dot title. And in this quotation, I can simply provide the title. So let me simply name it something like my first GUI window. You can use single quote or double quote here. Now I can set the window size. All right, setting the window size and here i have to provide the width and the height so let's say the height uh, would be something like 12 sorry 720 and the width would be something like 1280 you can change the height as you want obviously now i can use a screen width sorry you screen width and screen width is equal to root dot info underscore is screen width it actually retrieves the width and height of the screen from here and i can also create a variable named screen height it would also be root dot info underscore screen height and then I can use align str align string then I can provide person d into person d plus person d plus person d percent wheat comma height comma screen wheat minus wheat divided by two comma screen height minus height divided by two so it basically creates a string to specify the size and position of the window so here i am using screen width minus width divided by two screen width height minus height divided by two so it actually centers the window on the screen itself all right now i need to apply the size and position settings that i have described here to the window itself right so i can simply call the root and tell the geometry to get from align string and let's say i don't want it to have that ability to be resizable all right so i don't want users to resize my window if that is the case i can simply use root and resizable width would be false height would be false all right now i can go to my main block all right so i have finished writing down the constructor code for this app class now i need to have that main block from where the code starts executing all right 
so i have to leave this class and i can simply say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal equal main then the root should get tk dot tk keep in mind that this tk is coming from this tick enter as the alias was tk small t small k but this tk is different all right so this basically creates the main window root of the application and then let's say app equal to app root i'm calling this class app and here i am passing the root so it instantiates the app class with root as the argument then i want root dot main loop so this starts the main event loop of the program this keeps the window open and waits, waits for the user interaction if we don't do that uh, let me show you how it actually works let's say i am commenting this code and if i simply run this you don't see a thing right because this is actually opening the window and it instantly closes it but if we keep this code root dot main loop and run this code you see the window is opened and it doesn't closes itself until we close it by clicking on this close button or if we close the terminal other than that it won't close so if you want that functionality that the window won't be closed until the user wants it to closed then you need this root dot main loop so this is a very basic application not application a very basic window using tick enter if i simply run this code you see that it's creating the window and the windows height is 720 pixel and the width is 1280 pixel and whenever i am running it it always comes from this center because that's how i specified it to be and if you want to make any modification or adjust anything then obviously you can do that now you see let me also show you this window i can't expand it i can't reduce it because i have set the resizable property for both width and height to be false but let's say let me make some modification let's say i want the width property width resizable property to be true and if i simply run it you see that although i can't change the height because the height is still false I can change the width because the resizable property for width is true now. All right. So there you go. How to make the modification. And obviously you can see the title right here. My first quib window, right? So that's how you create a very basic window using tick enter. So that's how it goes. If you like this, then make sure to let me know and I will see you later.